Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and in this tutorial video I will show you how you can use build plan of procedural generation grid package to generate whole groups of rooms or other areas using components which are provided with current version of procedural generation grid. Knowledge from previous tutorial videos is very important here, so if you did not watch them, please go do it right now to know what we are doing here. Ok, let's start the tutorial. Uh, to create build plan, let's go to Fimpossible Creations Level Design Build Plan Designer. Let's create new build plan preset. I will call it Facility Version 1. Now let's turn on Gizmos. Let's assign any field setup to Root Corridor field. Hit Generate Preview. And in the center of the scene, we will see Preview of Build Plan. It depends on component we will use to generate build plan, the final effect will look different than this preview, but this preview is really helpful to set everything up. So first let's set random corridors to preview the build plan better. Let's say there will be few branches and let's say they are more flat and now let's add some room to be placed on the build plan. Let's hit plus on room presets and let's select some field setup. And as you can see, since last tutorial video, I created few more field setups. But let's select this one, disable legend. And here you can see that room of size 6 with height 4 is trying to be set aligned with the corridors. And here you can define if door holes should be automatically fitted to center of a line of connected interior. We can define how many doors this room can have. For example, we don't we don't want to have like three doors in the toilet. So there we can define if we want to have only one door or more. And in future versions of procedural generation grid, there will be more options for unregular shape, so there will not be only rectangles, but also more complex shapes of the rooms. But for now, it's most stable only on shapes like rectangles. Here we have option also to inject modificators, like we did in previous video, but we will look at this more later. Let's hide advanced settings, also let's hide root corridor. Let's add another room, and it's automatically assigned, but let's set their the bedroom and also one thing I forgot that there we define command of the field setup which would create door hole in the placement we see here. We can also add few duplicates of the setup we use like right now. Let's make this bedroom a bit smaller like 3 to 3 to 4. Let's add the toilet room and let's make it even smaller 2 to 3. And let's make sure that it will only have one door. It said it's only one. Alrighty, we see that it's only one door. Now let me add some more rooms. Alright, now it's a bit more variated. So now let's use this plan on building plan generator which is one of the three components in current version which supports using the building plan. Let's preview, uh, let's reset position, draw grid, and let's hit generate and see what's happened. Let's disable gizmos. Oh, I assigned different corridor. There should be mentioned corridors. And let's also disable randomization. So each time we hit generate, there will be generated the same rooms. And now we see that everything generated. But you can notice that rooms have no thickness and some objects are on both sides of the rooms. First thing to fix this will be applying wall separation and we can preview this on building plan. Generate preview. It depends on the setup you set the walls because you can set walls which are not going out of the grid area but if they do, you can use wall separation 
and let's disable randomization and this wall separation you see it adds some offset to the connection of the rooms you can just tweak it let's see how it works point two and you see it's a bit too too much you can check how it how it changes I think there will be yeah well for the tutorial purpose I think this will be close enough for the presentation yeah that's perfect all right now now what you will see will be mm, let's let me find it uh, here for example we have extension wall which goes out of the second room anyway different thing is like you see here that there is window which goes to the room but we don't want to have windows next to the rooms and to fix that we can use field comments and building plan is providing some advanced settings but they are for now they are the settings are visible only when you select build plan through inspector window and this stuff is here and there are things like neighbor walls cell restrictions and that means that uh, walls like here can have added guides on this side and on this side with a select restriction for spawning some tags or some more customized definition the second counter walls cells restrictions means they will be added to walls like here so there are there is no other room but few cells further there is second room so there will be added counter wall cells restriction and here and outside walls cell restrictions means walls like here so there is nothing in the way so it's very good for windows so for neighbor walls we will restrict spawning for tags like window and x and to know what that means go back to previous tutorial all right and on counter walls we want to prevent spawning windows let's select that we want to use that and let's check if it works all right everything changed so there we have window there we have extensions there we have extension there too and there are no windows which are coming to the other rooms so everything is working now uh, this feature of neighbor walls and counter walls right now it works only with the building plan generator not with a facility generator and also not works with simple dungeon generator but soon it will be implemented to the facility generator all right now let's inject some materials to the floor of some rooms as examples let me add here mention version 1 rooms let's inject here some different floor material uh, so let's select floor and sail reference modificator as pre and let's replace floor with some some pretty visible change okay and it's working so there we could make the rooms more randomized without creating any new field setups but let's now disable it and you could use the injections for example for spawning in this room nms for example it don't need to be something like changing models materials it can be something which will add some objects in the room all right also there will be some new features to the procedural generation grid like auto minimap generator and similar stuff but it's all for this tutorial if you have some questions feel free to ask in the comment sections below i hope you enjoyed this tutorial series thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye